Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Fun Science Demos. In a previous video, we talked about what it takes to create tornadoes and hurricanes in nature. Today, we're going to see if we can create a tornado in water using nothing but an aquarium pump. So let's take a closer look at the materials we use to make this demonstration happen. We're using a clear pitcher of water so that you can see what's going on inside. We have an inexpensive aquarium pump. Now, the aquarium pump probably is going to come with tubing that you could use or could make work. We decided to go with a, a bigger tubing that fits over top of our aquarium pump. And then I just used a straw that slides inside my tubing so I can change the direction of the flow of water. And now I need an empty plastic bottle. We wanted something clear so you can see through it. And we, we drilled two holes in the bottom of the bottle. One, the tubing is going to go through the one hole and the other hole is going to be a drain hole which allows the water to drain out of the bottle, hopefully creating our liquid tornado. And the skewers, well, they're just going to make sure our bottle sits on top of our container. So let's assemble this and see if we can get our tornado to work. So I'm gonna take the tubing and put it in the hole that's not in the center. And to do that, I'm just gonna slip it in. You want the hole to be kind of snug, but it's okay if it leaks a little bit. Now, it's important to realize that I can spin the bottle so that the straw is angled right against the side of the bottle, and that's gonna help create the spin to get our tornado. Now I'm ready to drop this into our container. I'm going to turn it so the spout helps me with the cord. If I put too much water in, it's going to overflow and it's going to get a little bit wet here. Pull it up to the right height, get my skewers. I might need to push down the bottle on the tubing just to get it just right. So we've zoomed in so you can get a closer look at what's happening once we start the aquarium pump. You can see my bottles resting on my skewers and if all goes well, the water as it's pumped into the bottle will drain out the center hole back into my pitcher and I should have a self-sustaining tornado. So let's start the aquarium pump and see if we can get our tornado. You can see my bottle's starting to spin up and if you look at the water, I'm getting a nice little spin. And if you look right at the bottom of the bottle, you can see a tiny tornado forming. So you can see we have a self-sustaining tornado in our bottle. We actually had to swap out this pink straw with a straw that's a tiny bit bigger so we could get more water into our bottle. And you can see we have a self-sustaining tornado. Now in nature, it takes just the right circumstances for a tornado to form. And you might find it takes just the right circumstances for your tornado to form in this bottle. If your, hole, if your drain hole's too big, your tornado won't form. If the drain hole's too small, the tornado won't form. If your straw is too big or too small, the tornado won't, won't form. It takes just the right circumstances. Now I can't help but think what happens if we switch out this wider bottle with a thinner bottle. I wonder if we'd get a taller tornado. So let's give that a try. So now I want to try a different bottle and for that I have to use a bigger straw. So I swapped out to a yellow straw that's a bigger diameter and I'm using a skinny bottle. I put a hole in the bottom of the bottle so now the water, I'm going to turn the bottle upside down and the water is going to be coming in the top instead of the bottom and in the hole in the cap I put a hole in the cap now if this hole's too small I might not get a spinning tornado if the hole's too big it might drain the water might drain too quickly and I might not get a spinning tornado so to make this work I'm putting the straw in I'm gonna have the water drain out into my container and let's see if we can get a tornado to form by turning on our pump we've zoomed in so you can get a better look now we'll turn on the pump and as the bottle starts to fill, you can see almost right away we have our tornado forming and hopefully our bottle will start to fill up even more and we can get a longer tornado. There we go, it's starting to fill up. A beautifully spinning tornado that's going to continue to spin and I could talk about what it takes for tornadoes to form in nature cold, dry air, mixing with warm, moist air, and a thundercloud forms, and when the conditions are just right and that air gets spinning, 
a funnel gr a funnel cloud touches the ground and we have a tornado that's wild and dangerous but in a way beautiful Remember, we also have another video where we made tornadoes using different techniques that you can click on and watch. Now let's try adding a few drops of food coloring and see what our tornado looks like. It might take a while for it to pump up through. You can see our tornado changing colors. We can turn it any color, blue, red, green, yellow. Pretty neat effect. Now the cool thing about science is that we can try different things to see if we can get similar results. Bigger tornadoes, smaller tornadoes. What happens if I use a bigger bottle? What happens if I use a different shaped bottle? Would a square container work? Those are all interesting questions that you can try at home. If you want to learn more about tornadoes, hurricanes, or weather, check out our links in the video description. Science is so cool, especially when it happens right in front of you. Thanks for watching.